Being a professional snowboarder is definitely a dream come true. Obviously, our number one passion is riding our snowboards, but the places we get to travel to to do so is unbelievable. They're vacation destinations most of the time, and it's really special, and the power that the mountains have, and we're always surrounded by that. So it's pretty humbling, yet fulfilling at the same time. Traveling with Danny and Craig and Ben and Adam and Russ and my tight crew, it really wouldn't matter where we are as long as we can ride some sort of board and eat some decent food. We're gonna have a good time. I can really be anywhere with those guys and being in a special location like this just makes it that much better. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends of all ya. Oh God, I've been running now. Up early when the sun is out. Not sudden now, my own soul. But those real ones, they coming now. Oh look, who's reaching now? Old friends wanna feature now. They don't work, so they need it free. Ooh, you reaching now from the west side of that old town. But there's no show, so I go down to the open mic. Show love to the real ones they know now. Some of y'all don't know now. In a couple months, you gonna find out. Been blowing up from the underground that they stepping on a landmine now, and he knows my time now, coming up, I'm on a climb now, everybody claim they been bottom, but it's looking like they took a time out, okay, I'm working on a Wednesday, then up again the next day, so and so is popping, man, I skip him like he leg day, kick it like I'm Pele, I never care what they say, put myself on Spotify, so every day my payday, that's right, I'm coming back like OJ, like a running back in his The first day we got to Switzerland. Somebody had mentioned Craig, and we're like, what, is Craig coming? Yeah, he was like, yo, I should fly in. And then he saw some footage coming up from the first few days, and he's like, okay, I think I'm actually gonna come. So I booked my plane ticket two days before, got off the plane, was getting a SIM card for my phone for the country, and guess who arrives with the Rose, Mark McMorris, my younger brother. It was a very, very welcome treat. I didn't know that they were picking me up. I thought I had to take a train somewhere or anything like that. So Mark, Adam, Russell, they all picked me up, and. Um, Put cameras right in my face right after getting a long haul flight, which isn't the best, but I was happy to see him nonetheless. Me and Mark are pretty on schedule. We like to do things pretty quickly, but when you just get off a long haul flight, you want to get food, you want to go see some stuff. You're not in Zurich every single day, so we thought we'd see the sights and sounds. We made a number of stops on the way to Sauce and it's a three hour drive to boot, so it took us about five hours. We got some nice pictures. It was a little bit drawn out, but I enjoyed the company. Another beautiful view in Switzerland, Mark. I'm pretty compared to the other ones. <laughs> Another beautiful view in Switzerland. Yep. Oh, Seve just saw him too. Oh, 
pumped. You got me pumped up. You stomp your pants too? You can see it in the air. You don't want to be too cliche with it's not about the destination, it's the journey or who you're with or whatever, but it really is. All these guys that are here are awesome and it makes the experience so much better. Whoever you're with will always enhance your trip. I don't spend more than a month anywhere in my life really, which is pretty, pretty miraculous to think about. I just move around and wake up in new destinations and meet new people and it's pretty insane. Every culture around the world that we get to see and bring it to our friends or share it with people and it just gives us a really good understanding on people and the world and how you're supposed to act and that's that's pretty valuable life lesson.